we are in Jerusalem's first station or Tachana Rishona in Hebrew. In recent years, it's become a modern center of culture with shopping, restaurants, shows and much more. The station itself has a long history that dates back to the 1800s and then after years of neglect it was opened as a cultural center in 2013. The first station is located at the end of Rukhov Emek Rufaim, a main boulevard in the city full of cafes and shops. This converted railway station is a great destination if you're looking to relax and get a taste of modern Jerusalem. The center stage hosts live performances of local musicians and actors. They have film screenings, dancing, yoga, magic shows, and programs for all of the family all year round. The old train track is right next to Park Hamasila, a long and thin park that follows the route of the old train track, leading all the way down to the Jerusalem Zoo. We're sitting here in the Khan Theatre of Jerusalem. The Khan Theatre is a very exciting place. It is a gem in the city and I look forward to you discovering it too. Jerusalem is a city of culture with over 40 museums, including the Israel Museum, the Science Museum, the Natural History Museum and many more. Check out the municipal website for a full list. The Jerusalem Theatre is home to the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra. Teddy Stadium, the Jerusalem Arena are popular sports venues, but they are often full on a summer evening with a large concert with both national and international stars. The Jerusalem Zoo is one of the most popular family destinations in Israel, with the aquarium opened recently just next door. There are in Jerusalem 20 annual festivals. The Festival of Light, the Arts and Crafts Fair, the Book Fair, all exciting and all providing a wide array of programs and activities for the residents of Jerusalem. <laughs> 